Hello everyone and welcome to Hiveside Casts. My name is Arclight and tonight we have a match between Karvalaki, I hope I pronounced that wrong, and Grahanduri. So we got 2-2 two -two split for alien, 3-2 split for aliens as well as the 3-2 split for marines with aliens vastly pushing towards pipe junction. Note for everyone, this is a, if I'm not mistaken, Division 3 ranking match. And we got nice pressure from aliens to marines started. Well, they are quick dropping the hive and flight control. As you can see there, Zeke, ZQ, ZQ, I think, is trolling by staying at behind while two marines go back. He's waiting for his chance towards marine main base. But will be scouted by this observatory here that you noticed. He kind of is in range because the OBS also catches a lot of this thing. Second problem I can make here is that Horban and Marine Commander, who is that? Karva, the clan leader, is dropping the observatory here, which is not good, but not bad even. So, uh, pretty much if they know the aliens came from sub axis, they can pretty much presume where the hive is. So they should have dropped it here, so it scans this area of the map. Second thing, we do have a Marine trying to go for the R-18 reactor core, and that's a big problem because first you build a power node, then you build the RT. Boki trying to save it, but aliens eat him up still. Have two Marines pushing inside ventilation. One more alien towards Glass Hallway, and I gotta say, very good play by Graham Dury here. Getting the hive up as well as getting the second RT. This is gonna help them get that fast leap. We do have a bit of a low aggression from Marine team. And good job by Nanda there, killing two marines. He's waiting for his reinforcement friend, Eximo, and there's ZQ coming again. Let's call him just Zeke. That's probably to pronounce that Q on the end. Zeke, and there goes the another RT. And again, one skull coming from the back. Good pistol kill by Horbin. The high V is done, and they go for the fast RT here, as you can see. Aliens on 3 RT is something to be afraid of when you look at the Marines, are currently only one. They did drop the upgrades, though. They definitely need to get some resources out. Aliens set up nice contain on Marines, and... Very, very good job by aliens there. Celerity is going to be up soon. Pardon me. Leap, not celerity. I was tend to miss those two up. So, finally the marines are getting their second RT. And there it happen and happens to be some kind of a fast rush on the... This is what I was talking. You see the two skulks. Are just hanging here waiting for marines to come if this observatory was here it would have scouted them and they would not be such a pest on the entrance towards the map the information is the one thing oh my god as soon as the leap was done here come the aliens as well as the drifter and straight for a marine rt wow that's ballsy Oh my god, they're trying to rest log them. Fortunately, Marines do have one more. And they're getting... chased out of the data core with that drifter dying. Very nice try by uh, Alien Commander. But uh, I have to emphasize too much use of the enzyme. You don't have to use it every single second. Enzyme lasts for around 5 to 10 seconds, so... Give it time. And in that shot out, everyone forgot about the drifter. 
And Drifter still don't have a collision model. Very great. Very great dodging by Crocodile. Is it Crocs? Yeah, Crocodile K. Very good dodge. Oh my god, three more Skulks. Where do you all come from? Very good clear by Horbin there. Very good clear. Horbin making it in the last second. Meantime, what do we have across the map? Aliens setting up drifters everywhere. Still on their three RTs. And they do have a shift hive with celerity spur completed. So this is going to be even more painful for marines now the mobility the aliens will get. Now the marines are on two rest nodes. And probably coming up for a third one, which is not always good for marines. Aliens expanding towards Kravis as you can see. Cysts being freshly dropped, just lacking the infestation. And the marines are getting weapons 1 and uh, mines, which is not a bad addition. But should have gotten those mines early on. Now that the two hives are, are done, probably the next upgrade for aliens will be the carapace. And the aliens are coming up on 35 rest marker. So the phase will be out in, let's say, 4 to 6 minutes. Once the phase hit the field, it will be pretty much GG. Oh my god. There's a lurking main. Trawling. Got out safely though. In the meantime, I'm missing the another engagement. Marines down to single RT again. They lost everyone except the atrium. Bad game to be a marine this one. Aliens could also become greedy and expand towards crossroads or a computer lab. They do have the resources and everything for it. But they are keeping that nice distance from marines as you can see on the map. They pretty much cut the map at this point. It's hard to emphasize it. There we go. Pretty much cut it there. So, And holding marines at bay. Look at this. Two lurks on the field which is a good thing commander went gorge but commander pretty much never dropped out of the chair and one thing that grandery needs to learn is that the alien commander does not have to be 100 percent time inside inside the chair like marine commander does um, aliens can use that one extra guy on the field But having drifters in support, well, pretty much needs a commander in chair. But sometimes when you wage an extra guy on the field versus a drifter, there are times that the extra guy wins over the drifter, especially if it's a gourd support for the Onas or the higher life forms like Lurk or Fade. They should definitely go for... Uh, I would de detonate in those mines with the spikes. Good one. Oh, nice bite there. Very nice bite by Eximo. Being pesky about it. Blink started for the phase. I think it's pretty much early. Well, actually, it's not. Aliens have 46 rest. Dang it, I told you it fades in four minutes. I was pretty much wrong. It's been only three minutes since I said it. So, a few more restics and they will have enough for fades. So, there, that is a good timing for Blink. Next thing that we need to see is probably sports for the lurks. And Marines are cornered with armor one, but they still cannot push out. I mean, look at that. Lurks are pushing them back inside the base. Lurks are being a bit too aggressive in my opinion. Yeah, as you see one lurk dies there. Do we have a setup here? No, we don't. We do not have expansion towards crossroads or atrium. But they did get a ventilation as well as the forward base in it. As you can see a shift and two crags. Which is a good thing. 
Now they can... Oh, nice kill by Zeke. Very good skull can lurk harassment for the main base. Oh, hurts to be a marine now. Hurts very badly. We're 10 minutes into the game and we do have a fade on the field, as you can see. There's the fade. And he's got a drifter for support. That marine is going to go down in a second. Although it looks like that fade lacks carapace, so if, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Unfortunately, no way you can see the... Helios got power down in atrium for marines as well as the RT in reactor core again. And this is pretty much marines in the bunker down position with nothing they can do. Fade just dodging ev their every move. Adrenaline is done. We could see assist expansion. Placing assist here, then placing it here. Some Marines can shoot it. Getting the forward base in this corner for aliens, as well as pushing the second side to get a forward base here, right where the lurk is. And also don't place those mines up close because as you see, killing one mine detonates everything else. We have two more fades on the field. And this is probably where we're gonna see the end game. We do not have any heal support, no gorges on the field, just three lurks, pardon me, three fades and two lurks with none of the fades going down. Oh, fade overextending there, almost dying. And Faye dies to a pistol shot. Good kill by Horbin there. Aliens do claim crossroads. Spores are now down for lurks. Oh, that poor drifter. Well, aliens are banking enough resources we can probably get for a... Uh... Oh, and Marines saying GG. And that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. The first game goes to Grahandurri. And hope everyone enjoys this and see you next time.